All right, so this is part three of how the builder works. So this time we're going to work on these specific features over here on the bottom. So as we're designing here, there are things that we may want to do. For example, let's say I want to share this design with someone else. Divi allows us to share this complete design with other people and also maybe save it for safekeeping so I can use it at another time. So the quickest way to do that is to come over here to portability. You see these two arrows here? If you click on that, I can now export this file. So let's give this a name. So let's call this test design, okay? So let's say this is the design. I can now export it like that. Okay, great. So I know now it's exported. So I can now go in and this is the next feature. I can come over here and delete this whole thing by clicking here. So this gets rid of the whole design. So everything is now gone and there's nothing left. But we can also import uh, this design that we've just exported. So we're back to where we were. Now this works with any Divi website. It could be your existing websites. It could be a client website. You can even share this design with someone else. So when they've got the design, all they need to do is to drag and drop it. Just like that. Okay, did you notice what I did? I just came over here to the bottom, dragged it and dropped it here. Another way to do it is to find this .json file where it is on your computer, drag and just drop it here on the page. And when you drop it here, this is, oops, what happened there? I clicked away from it, so I have to find it again. <laughs> All right, let's find it. So it's in my downloads for sure. Okay, so here it is, it's in my downloads. It's a very small file. I'm going to drag and drop it like that. Now, what I need to do, I can choose to either replace existing content. That's that's if, if I have any content on the page. If I have some content and I don't want to replace it, it just appends to it. So that's a really cool feature right there. So I'm going to say replace. I can also download a backup before importing. I don't have, I don't need to do that. But if you need to do that, you can just uh, click here. Import presets. Now we're going to be talking about presets on another video. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to say replace and then click on import. And just like that, the design that we had or we were playing around with is now added back onto our page. And pretty much I have everything, the colors, the settings, the sizes, everything is back on just by sharing this design. So this is really, really cool. Uh, and I hope that you, uh, you use this feature here. It's very, very important. Next, Let's talk about the settings of this particular page. So I could come over here to my page settings and this is this page setting. So if you create another page at another time, the settings that I'm going to add here will not affect those other pages. These settings are for this particular page. So we can add a featured image here. We can also add a background over here on the content area. So uh, in our content area here, as we're designing, we can just add this you know, color here. But of course, we're not going to do that. We can also have our section background. So you can see just by doing that, I've added uh, my section background just like that. So as I'm designing my site now, uh, what happens is this is going to be the color for my sections. But of course, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go back. Finally, we have split testing. So we can split test and see which page is performing better than the other. Again, I'm going to talk about split testing on another video. All right. So these are the features that we can add to this particular page just over here on the bottom. The next thing I want to talk about is also very, very important. This is going to save you a lot of time, and that is saving items to the library. Now, this does not only apply to this page, but it applies to various stages in our DV Builder. So let's start by adding this to the library. So if you want to add the whole design to the library, of, I mean, to the Divi library, then that's cool. You can always find it as you're designing. So let's save this whole thing to the library. So you can give this layout a name. So let's call this a test um, layout. We can add a category. So I'm going to say this is a page. So the category is going to be pages. So the complete designs will go to pages. So now I can save to library. So now you may be asking, well, it's gone to the library. So how do I find it? So let's say we've created a brand new page. So we're going to pretend this is a brand new page because this is the stage you get when you are designing your website. So you get this page, which does not have anything on it. So now if you want to add something from the library, what you do is you click here on this plus button. So here we have our pre-made layouts. I'll talk about this in the next video. So over here now on your saved layouts, notice we have our test layout. So this is where all your layouts are going to be. 
and they will all be in the right category. So if you have some layouts that are in uh, sections or pages or modules, you can you can find them all here. So this is a very, very good place to go in and save all your design assets to your library. This is going to save you a lot of time. Now look at that, our design is back. So if I was designing, say, a different page, all I would need to do is to go to the library, collect all the elements I need from the library, and boom, I can just bring them back here. It could be a button, it could be a section. Now, every time you see this icon here, it means we can save this whole section here to the library. Notice that. So this is the button here that saves the whole page to the library. We can also save this section to the library over here. Notice that the pop-up is there again. It's saving our layout. Now, if I come over here to my rows, same thing. We have save row to library. So I can click here, give it a name and save it to the library. I can also save a module. Notice that the arrow is there. I can also save this to the library. So as you can see, there are several ways that we can add all our parts of our design to the library from a page, a section, a row, or even a module. All right, so that is how the Diffie Builder works.